fclose closes a file if there was any buffered output waiting to go to the device the f flush will be done for you and uh, just before the f close and the difference is any unread buffered input will be thrown away so if you have read some strings in and you haven't done anything with them and you close that input that is lost uh, that data has has been lost because the buffer's thrown away and any automatic buffered memory that was set up by the functions we'll see at the the last couple of functions here that will be deleted as well so f close does a lot of cleanup for you here's how you remove a file simple remove pass it the file name that's that it'll return a uh, positive number if there's a problem or zero if it's okay if the remove worked properly rename will rename the file that you put in you pass in the old file name and the new file name make sure it's closed and it'll do the rename for you temp file will create a temporary file and then that file will be removed when the uh, program closes up uh, or if you do an F close on it on this temporary file pointer you don't really care about the name of the file or anything like that it's just a temp file that will be created on the drive on the file system for you and you can use it as a scratch surface a scratch pad whatever you want to to call it and then you close it when you're done it's a TMP file TMP name creates a temporary file name notice the E is missing off the end that that's on purpose it does not create the file the file name though is guaranteed not to exist should you choose to create it should you do an F open on uh, that particular file name you pass temp name a string pointer to a buffer that is uh, at least long enough to hold uh, the string name and there is another constant in there which is called uh, TMP underscore max so temp name has to point to a buffer of temp max size to be able to carry the file name now if you uh, don't pass the pointer to it it will return a pointer back here of a uh, buffer containing that name here's our buffering mode we can uh, set the buffer with set vbuff now you have to call this right after you open the file but before you do anything with it you can't call this after you've written or read the file because the buffering has already been built for you at that point there's three different modes and that mode will be right here and it will be underscore IOFBF which is full buffering IOLBF which is line buffering you'll read one line of text at a time and IONBF is no buffering there will not be any buffers created for the file if buffer is null in here if this is a null pointer then a new buffer will be created of this size however large this is if you pass it a pointer to your file buffer that's where the file buffer will be located that if you don't give it a pointer say it's null it will create a new one for you and pass that back as a return for your size set buff does the uh, same basic operation as set vbuff it sets the buffering mode but it's usually used when you want to turn buffering off because the, the mode these modes are still possible here but if the buffer is null buffering will be turned off so typically in set buff you hand it the file pointer uh, from the f open and you hand it uh, buffer and if you uh, do not specify well you're not specifying it so full buffering is what's set that's the default is what I'm trying to tell you here the mode will be on set buff IOFBF full buffering and uh, typically though that's why it's kind of odd for me to even say that for you that full buffering is done here typically the only reason you use set buff is to turn off buffering and uh, that would be the uh, the only reason you would want to do that is maybe you're reading from the keyboard and you want to get every character one boom 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 one after the other and you don't want them buffered and laying in memory someplace waiting for you to read them out you want to have tight interaction with whatever you have opened as a as a file uh, whether it's keyboard screen error output printer whatever device you've gotten a hold of you don't want any buffering at all okay so that's the file operations of the standard library and we're gonna wrap this up here and we're gonna go on and take a look at some character class tests which uh, should be pretty interesting at least to me it is see you then